What's going on people, it's Blackson. I am an eclectic music creator based out of New York and I am here to help you get much more proficient at FL Studio and to of course, gain control of your music. Today we're gonna to be talking about a pretty important topic. We're gonna to be linking our playlist to our mixer to make our overall flow in FL Studio much faster. Without further ado, let's begin. Now, we look at this playlist link. I have this preset in the template that I made. Um, my recording and FL Studio project templates will be available to certain Patreon members. If you're interested in my templates, description below, you'll see the Patreon tiers. But um, let's say I didn't have this, right? Track mode, unassigned, and I'm gonna delete this straight up. Delete. How would I set this? I go to track one, right click, I go to track mode, audio track, and I'm gonna press rec. So it's linked to that, right? That's a very important step because all vocals that'll come through here will be routed here. Anything that I record, you just drag it in to the appropriate spot and it'll automatically be sent to that exact same channel. So if I recorded something right now, uh, it would, and I just, you know, let's say this thing I recorded, pattern one, right? This is my recording. Grab this control F2, rec box. Oh snap, ec box, let's fix that. Re not ec box, rec box. Essentially these recorded vocals would come here, then I would drag it down here, and then it would be sent to mixer track 17. And the thing is, if I brought it down here, it would overwrite that and then send it to Mixer Track 11. That's how it works when you have things mapped out here. By, same thing for Rec. It'll go to Rec uh, to Mixer Track 3 when you drag something into Rec. By default, all vocals recorded will be sent to Rec Track 3 because it is the recording channel for this project. 